Welcome to Slightly Stranger Things at Maths Week, Episode 3. My sunflower is broken. Ah, sunflowers. A symbol of the beauty of nature. Beloved of artists such as... Excuse me, I need to say something. Vincent van Gogh? You don't sound like I thought you would. You don't even sound Dutch. Lol, I am dead, but I have to say this. If you want to talk about sunflower, you have to talk about Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence? Yes, the Fibonacci sequence. One, one, uh, two, three, five, uh, eight, uh, thirteen, twenty-one. Each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. And in the Fibonacci sequence, if you take any number in the sequence and divide it by the number that came before, the value you get there, as time goes on, starts to approach a magic number called the golden ratio. Okay, this is where the Fibonacci sequence gets a bit Da Vinci code, right? Now, it turns up in loads of places. You have golden rectangles, golden spirals. But for now, say if you get a circle and you divide it in such a way that the bigger arc is 1.618, etc., etc., times the smaller arc, the angle is called the golden angle. Now, tell them about the sunflowers. No, I'm getting there, right? So what happens is, in a sunflower, in order to fit as many florets or little seedy things as possible, when a new one grows, it pushes the one outside of it outwards, and it doesn't go straight out, it sort of turns by an angle, and that angle is the golden angle. So what this means is that the seeds are packed tight on the sunflower, but you can see spirals in both directions. Now, if you count the number of those spirals on most sunflowers, they will be two consecutive Fibonacci numbers. OK, maybe not all sunflowers. This is my one. And uh, I struggle to find Fibonacci numbers in this, to be honest. Might find 89 in this direction. But the other way, I don't know what's going on. I think my sunflower might be broken. That's body shaming. It's a beautiful sunflower. You're right, Vincent. You won't always find Fibonacci numbers. And where you don't, maybe it's because it's a pattern we don't understand yet. Either way, nature, like maths, likes to do the most with the least. And that is beautiful.